So in my last video, I showed you guys how to install GoFish on Kali Linux. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a sending profile. So the sending profile is used to send a phishing email to get some information or to create a backdoor on the uh, victim computer right? or victim device. So to do that, we have to first create a sending profile. Let's go click here on sending profile and we can add a new profile. So click add new profile and you can provide a name here. So let me say test uh, profile outlook. So I'm going to use outlook to do that. Uh, of course, you can use Gmail, Outlook or any other email. So SMTP email to send the outgoing emails, but you need to be very careful. Uh, most of the email service providers, they are very, uh, they know that you can do spoofing using the SMTP services and they just block if you send an email as say in the, in the from field, you're going to just put an email address that this is the email address is going to see when they receive that email this can be any email address technically this can be any email address but when you provide a um, host name here smtp server name here if you provide gmail and if your email address from shows something else the gmail smtp will not let you to send the email address email to that specific or it won't let you to send the email showing that it's come from that specific email address but i'm going to use on this testing i'm going to use outlook so I'm just going to give a name as a Tim Cook, just the name only, right? As just to look like it, the mail is coming from Apple, right? So, but my email address is, I'm just going to have uh, outlook.com uh, as the email address, right? Even though, uh, even though the, the display name says Tim Cook, I've just got it here. So I have got SMTP, Outlook settings here. So I'm just going to copy the SMTP Outlook setting. So I'm just going to, uh, sorry, well, let me do paste, right, Outlook. But you have to provide the port number. Since it's TLS, they're using port number 587. And here you have to provide an authentication. So this has to be an email address. It has to be a real email address, right? Again, you can have your own email server or you can have your test email server and you can use the email addresses to send the email. And you have to provide the password of this specific username. So let me provide the password. Uh, so once you provide the password, I'm just going to uh, send a test email. Let me send the test email. So I'm going to do uh, testing from here to my one of my other email right uh, let me send it to my gmail account and see whether i can receive the email right let me send click send and see what happens um, so that has to this has to send the email to that specific email address right once it's gone we'll have a test i uh, will go and check in the email box yep you can see the email has gone let me quickly go and Log into my Gmail account. Right. Um, you can see um, since the email has gone, click um, email sent, and I'm just in my Gmail mailbox, and you can see the email is there in my Gmail mailbox, right? So if I click that email, right, let's go back here now, you can see it works. This It says that the email has come from there, right? So that is how the sending profile works so let me close this and cancel and save the profile so my first sending profile is created so you can use this to keep sending emails as a sending profile so you're going to use this one when you do a campaign right so this is how you create a sending profile with this i'm going to finish the tutorial i'll see you guys on another video and i'll walk through how to create a landing page and how to create email templates and then finally we'll launch a campaign so we have to go through three more steps to complete a proper campaign right all right see you guys on another video thanks for watching